Hi Leo, welcome back to my channel. This will be a general reading uh, to have a look and see how your special person is feeling about you, um, the emotions that they might be going through. Uh, keep in mind, however, this will be a general reading. If you'd like a private reading, please feel free to email me. You'll find my email list of prices and services below the video in the description box. This can be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and or Venus. Okay, I like this card. Okay, first quarter moon, your commitment is being tested. Someone feels like they're being tested, okay? Um, and this is quite interesting that this has come up. The first quarter moon um, actually comes between the new moon and the full moon. Um, it's a time when the sun and the moon are at a hard um, astrological angle to each other. And sometimes this can prompt a bit of crisis, okay? Um, it might be a reminder here that someone might be feeling like there's um, a bit of drama or um, a test phase that's coming, um, coming to fruition here. Someone's trying to stay strong because it can be seen as a card where we need to stay strong throughout the storm. Someone might feel like there's a lot of hurdles in the relationship, but what I see is that this person is trying to weather the storm with you, um, Leo, okay? Because when this card does come up, it, it can pose challenges, but it's also realistic things, okay? Realistic affirmations and things of that nature. Um, you'll also see someone's commitments. You'll, you'll come to see how committed they are or not, Leo. This will be very, very telling, I think, this month for a lot of you, emotionally speaking, in your connection um, of how much you can... Um, pull through together because commitment is ultimately being tested here. There might be some obstacles or hurdles that might come up in your love life with this person, but they might be feeling like they're being tested or they might be feeling your relationship is possibly at a bit of a standstill. There might be things occurring around you. Let's have a look and see what they could potentially be that might make this person feel a little bit unstable. Okay, or well, that's something that they feel they need to weather the storm. King of Pentacles with the Moon, Three of Cups with the Two of Cups. Um, okay, let's have a look at Taurian energy. I don't know if some of you have a Taurus coming in around, possibly a Cancer here. You also have got a Leo, which I think would be you. Um, the King of Pentacles is 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 about stability. Uh, I love that he's the last king of the deck because I really feel like someone feels like they could go to the end with you. Someone feels like like that you could provide them a happily ever after. You can provide them a warm home, a base, love, commitment, and loyalty, which is very, very nice. But your loyalty might be tested, okay? Or someone feels like their loyalty is, test, is, is being tested in your relationship. Um, for some of you, though, if this is the King of Pentacles, someone is feeling very, very complacent with the way things are going, with how things are progressing in the physical realm. Uh, they feel very comfortable. You can see that the King of Pentacles very much uh, relishes his surroundings. Uh, sorry, um, very much immerses himself in his surroundings. Um, and basks in the thought of commitment, loyalty. Um, but this is also connected to ownership. It's quite a Venetian energy. Venus does rule Taurus. This can also be romance. Um, for some of you, you might have finance troubles though, okay? There might be financial troubles or someone feels like finances or career might be impacting on your connection. You also have the Three of Cups, not necessarily pointing to a third party situation, but up to three priorities that might take away from your connection or someone feels like there's something that's taking away from your connection here. And is in essence, it's, it's a testing phase because you might be balancing career or money as well as your relationship together. You might also have differing opinions of what you see as the long-term future, Leo. This person might want something very, very different to you. And this might be communicated. You also have the Cancer card here. So this could be a Cancer that is coming through in the cards. Uh, this is quite an emotional card. Uh, sentimentality, nostalgia. It's also the Divine Feminine. Uh, compassion, nurturing, creativity, logic, wisdom, and empathy is coming up here. Someone is definitely feeling anxious. Okay, unsettled, defensive. The animals is all about basic instinct here. Someone is feeling... 
they're either wanting divine feminine they might be wanting you to take them under their wing and give them more direction in your relationship or someone might be feeling like they want to see more empathy from you leo now in one aspect you can be very very um you know, you can be filled with empathy and nurturing, but in another, you can come across completely opposite and be cold and distant, Leo. Um, and what I'm seeing here is that this person might be feeling both these facets um, of you, okay? The two towers, the two components of, of your nature here. But I definitely feel like someone... It could even be threatened... And I want to say that is because if, if those of you that still have an ex around you or someone interested in you through career, or you have a twin flame that's somehow still around you, if you have a significant relationship or a significant ex that had meant something to you once upon a time um, quite deeply here, Leo, this person might feel threatened um, and it could even be seen as jealousy. I feel it's more threatened. I don't feel like it's it is jealousy, but I feel like there's someone emotionally feels like they need to defend themselves or defend you um, in some sort of capacity here. But it can also be someone who's feeling much more attached to you. I definitely feel like there's a lot more attachment coming from this person. Cancerian energy can be quite heavily attached and emotionally codependent. So someone might be feeling much more dependent on you. And they're either looking for you for guidance or for support, or they want to see something in return here, uh, Leo. Because you had, let's look at that, you had the Three of Cups. Possibly a third party situation though. Um, I don't think so. This card is more a card of celebration, fate, destiny, happiness and harmony. Um, it's a card of celebrating and rejoicing in the good. So I do feel like this will be overcome. You'll celebrate it. You'll come out of it. You'll weather the storm. So if someone feels like you will prevail over something here. It can also be a card of this person telling telling their friends, telling their family members about you, um, enjoying your relationship together. Um, you might be meeting their friends, their social circle, their family, their parents. Um, you might be attending some sort of event. And this could be a test. Okay, this could be a test. They might be testing you. Or you, you, they might feel like you're testing them with their friends. They feel like, you know, the the Cancer card can, the, the Moon card can be seen as anxiousness, Leo. So someone might be anxious um, because I've, whatever's happening, if it's like an event they have to attend with you or they're meeting the people that are important around you, they might feel there's a lot of pressure, you know, and they feel like they have to defend their position with you. They feel like they might have to defend why they're with you or defend why they would make a good partner. And in one sense, yes, you can appreciate that this person is almost advocating their position, but they're wanting to fight for something. Um, I do sense there is someone around you that wants to fight for you because I believe they believe you are their twin flame. You've got the beautiful two of cups. In particular, if you are married, um, if you are married to this person or you are planning marriage or engagements um, or de facto long-term civil partnerships, for example, this person is definitely thinking about you in this regard. The two lovers coming in together to a union here. Some of you, if you are married, engaged, or talking about engagement, I feel like you might see these obstacles more so than the people that are trying to court or attract someone. So if you're not yet dating, maybe this isn't that applicable to you. Whilst I still feel like someone feels like they're tested or they feel like challenges are ahead, I feel with the two of cups, someone wants reciprocity. Someone wants to be kept in the loop. Uh, someone wants to be your equal, Leo. I don't know if ego is getting in the way here. It could be. Um, the animals, let's look at the animals here. Primitive, egotistical, territorial, possessive. There could be complications here. Someone might feel like you might be a little bit possessive or they might be possessive. Primitive behavior here, territorial, it's basic instinct. It's not it's irrational behavior, okay, that might come up and test your connection. But you've come up for them, which is quite powerful. But what I love here is that there's someone seriously considering, considering marrying you, um, entering into an exclusive union with you, coming together into a partnership and sharing it amongst family and friends and, and being exclusive, which is quite nice to see. So um, amidst all the, test, uh, the testing phase that you might encounter with that first quarter moon, 
it can bring drama and challenges and it might throw them off a little bit and they might just feel they're being tested but ultimately I feel someone is hopeful that the two of you will be able to see literally see eye to eye and come back to each other um, both offering your cups to each other so both saying sorry both coming together and being direct about what you want both just being outright and forthcoming about what you see for each other or with each other. Equality comes to mind, equality and balance. Again, it's a, it's a hard angle. Someone does feel there's pressure. Um, someone might be feeling pressured, okay? Um, pressure to provide pressure to get on with your friends and family, pressure for marriage. There could be someone coming in around you with this type of energy, but let's look at the good. Someone is definitely wanting stability. Someone is reaching a stage of their relationship where they feel they can overcome these obstacles with you. So they see you as someone like this, Leo. They see you as someone they can find you know the king of pentacles there is nothing beyond him because he rules the realm of stability he rules he's he's um finite i guess in a way because he rules that realm and i think there's someone definitely here feeling like should you be able to overcome any obstacles this will actually bring you stronger together um, and make you much more closer and make your bond much more stronger as well and this is definitely what this person is wanting leo so look i will leave it at that i hope this reading has been insightful thank you again for watching um, don't forget to leave behind a like or a subscribe and we shall be connecting very very soon so thanks again leo and bye for